We're going to go ahead and simplify down some of these expressions, rewriting them so they will all have positive exponents, and simplifying completely. Um, we're also going to rewrite a, a radical as a rational exponent. Okay, so you can see we have our exponent rules up at the top. Let's jump right in with 3 to the negative third power. So as we can see, whenever you have a negative exponent, what we're allowed to do is kind of switch places. So it's in the numerator right here. We're allowed to move it down to the denominator and make it a positive exponent. So this would be the same thing as 1 over 3 to the positive third power. Next, we can simplify this a little bit further. Instead of 3 to the third power, that's, that means the same thing as 3 copies of 3 multiplied together, which works out to be 27. So 1 27th is equivalent to 3 to the negative third. Next, let's move on to the middle. We have 1 over 5 times x to the negative twelfth power. As you can see, we have a negative exponent located there on the x. The 5, though, has a positive exponent. That means 5 raised to the positive first power. So as we rearrange things, we don't have to move the 5. We can leave the 1 up in the numerator if we want. The 5 can stay where it is because it has a positive exponent. And then we can move the x up to the numerator by making it a positive 12 for its exponent. Now, of course, we don't have to have the 1 multiplied by x to the 12th. We can just put x to the 12th over 5 as our final solution there. All right, moving over to the right, one of the more difficult ones here. We have x to the 5th all raised to the 3rd power. So I'd probably deal with that by going ahead and multiplying those exponents together. When you have something raised to an exponent, raised to another exponent, we're going to multiply these exponents together. So that, first of all, gives us x to the 5 times 3 makes 15 over x to the negative fourth. But now we can deal with that negative exponent. We can make it positive by moving it up to the numerator with the x to the 15. From here, we want to add these exponents together because they're on the same level. We're allowed to add those exponents. And our final answer here is going to be 15 plus 4 for our new exponent of 19. All right, moving down to the bottom left, we have a to the fifth, b to the seventh, all raised to the negative one-fourth. The first thing I'm going to do here is we have an exponent on the outside. I'm going to multiply that by each one of the exponents on the inside. So that's going to get us to a to the five times negative one-fourth times b raised to the seven times negative one-fourth. To simplify further, Let's first multiply our exponents. So that'll be a raised to the negative 5 fourths times b raised to the negative 7 fourths. And finally, to rewrite these with positive exponents, they're currently up in the numerator. We want to move each one of these down to the denominator. So we need a placeholder up in our numerator. So we'll put a 1 up there. We'll have a to the positive 5 fourths, b to the positive 7 fourths, down in our denominator. All right, on the next one, it's very similar that we want to bring the exponent from the outside to the inside by multiplying each one of those exponents by the one half from the outside. So I'll bring along the negative four. Now we have x to the eight times one half makes four. y to the negative four times one half makes negative two. From here, it's just a bit of rearranging and getting rid of that negative exponent. Now, we don't have to worry about the negative 4 out in front because it has a positive 1 as its current exponent. So it's not going to move. It's up in the numerator right now. It's still going to remain in the numerator. The x to the positive 4th remains in the numerator. But the y wants to move down to the denominator to make that a positive exponent. So that's our final answer. It's okay that that negative is out in front of the 4. It's not a negative exponent. All right, on our next one, let's try to rewrite this with a rational exponent. So as you can see, whatever our index is on the radical, that's going to go as the denominator. Whatever the exponent is on, uh, on the inside here is going to go up in the numerator. So rewriting this, this will just be x to the 7 over 3 power as a rational exponent. And the very last one here, negative 3 x to the 0 power. Now it's important to note that, that 0 power is only attached to the x. The negative 3 has its own exponent of a 1 right now. So as we want to simplify this down, anything raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. 
but it's only the x that's raised to the zero power. So that's going to be negative 3 times 1. Negative 3 times 1 makes negative 3, and that's going to be our final solution. All right, hope this helps out. These are really important rules to get down. Pays off big dividends as you move forward. Good luck.